happy Mother's Day. I hope you're gathering around and having your Mother's Day brunchy food and got the blankets spread out on the floor for the kids. And we're just going to gather around for this last online only gathering this morning. And I do just want to celebrate moms. Uh, I want to really honor you. I want to really send our love to you. And I want to say this morning, good job, mom. Um, you know, I love it that we have a day designated to really, that's the message, good job, mom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all you do. For You sacrificed, you've guided, you've encouraged, you've laughed, you've cried, you've prayed, you've wondered, you've questioned, and most of all, you've loved. We just want to honor you, honor you moms this morning. And I just had a few things on my heart to share directly to you moms. You may feel like you blew it, and let's face it, we all have at times. You may feel like you wish you could have done it better or differently. We've all felt that way. And this is something I... I actually have really had to work through a lot in my life. There are things I really wish I would have, could have done differently and better when I was raising my kids. And I wish I would have known some things that I know now. I wish I would have not been so insecure. And I want to say to you moms, have confidence in your ability to mom. God gave you these kids. Kids are all different. And that's something that really helped me as a parent. There's no cookie cutter way to do this. <laughs> All kids are different. There are great tools. There are so many helpful things for us as moms, but it's not a one-size-fits-all when it comes to kids, right? When it comes to people, it's not a one-size-fits-all. So I just want to say... You have a God-given radar for your children, and trust your heart. Trust your mom wisdom. Trust that it'll be okay if you don't do it perfectly. <laughs> it's okay if some days the success is they were fed and no one was hurt, right? I, we had four kids in five years. I understand this. There are some days when everyone thrives and milestones are made. It's okay if some days you'd rather forget and some days favorite memories are made. What I want to encourage you with today is to be as present as you can in all the moments. The good, the ugly, the mundane, and the memorable. And don't be too hard on yourself. When you're struggling, take a time out. Look into the eyes of your kids and just breathe. <laughs> and have them do the same. Let them know it's okay to not be okay. It's okay if everything isn't great today. Let's find some things to be grateful for and take a moment to just be. One of, um, you've heard me talk <laughs> many times about what I call epoch moments in my life. And that's just where God just says something to me profound, like out of nowhere. And I had an epoch moment about parenting and I just heard the Lord so clearly say to me, you're managing your kids, you're not relating with them. Now, he didn't mean don't manage your kids, right? Kids need routine. They need boundaries. Actually, boundaries help us enjoy our children. God was telling me I wasn't present in the moments. I was too concerned with doing it all right. And I needed to be with them, enjoy them, know them, and relate with them. So take off the pressure, take off the comparison, and enjoy your kids. With all the things I wish I would have done better when raising my kids, my adult kids are amazing. I couldn't be more proud of them. So let that encourage you because, believe me, there are a lot of things I could have done better. The one thing I feel that helped our kids the most is for Steve and I to learn to be real, vulnerable, and present. Learning to say I'm sorry when we needed to. Living our faith with them. Letting them see us go to Jesus when things were hard. 
letting them know it's okay to not be okay because Jesus is with us in all things. For all you women who are not moms yet, cultivate these things in your life now. It'll really help you later. (laughs) To all you women who are not moms and have pain with that, I pray for comfort, grace, and beauty for your heart today. And to all you women who are momming young people who aren't your own, thank you because so, so many, so many young people are longing for moms and dads. And to all you women, I pray right now, I pray an increase of joy in your life. I pray a fresh peace, a fresh courage, and a refreshing wind to blow over you. I pray your eyes see the beauty of who you are today. I pray your heart feels loved and valued. And I pray that you feel the gratitude for your sacrifices. In Jesus' name, amen.